Hey everyone, uh, so today we're going to have a quick look at how pie charts are made. Um, before I do this though, I'd question whether you really want to use a pie chart. Um, I tend to avoid them, um, use them very sparingly, only when there are typically binary values like yes or no, um, percentage of votes and things like that. Um, but anyway, let's get on. You can use uh, the show me button to create a pie chart. Uh, do it on very quickly by just double clicking on sales and maybe double clicking on region and then going to the show me bar and uh, clicking on pie chart and, and there you go you've got a pie chart um, how this is made manually uh, well let's just X out the page and try again so um, the first thing you need to do uh, it, before you put anything on the view is change the marks type to pie and what this does is it gives you this additional control here called angle um, and and if you think about how a pie chart is made up, uh, it's basically a measure, uh, say sales or profit, and it's segmented by a dimension, a single dimension. Uh, the dimension or the segments need to be distinguishable in, in, the, uh, in the pie chart, and those are distinguished typically by color. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to take a dimension and we're going to put it on color, and you can see that it's taken each of the five dimensions and right now it's giving equal allocation to each of them uh, and that's because we haven't put our measure in to tell it how to divvy up these uh, segments um, and what we need to do then is the obviously it's the angle of each of these that determines how big each segment is so we're going to drop our measure onto angle and immediately uh, you can see that changes round and we can see that international makes up uh, a lot of sales and all the rest, uh, you know, smaller percentages. Um, now, that's all good and fine. There's a couple of things that I think um, aren't really great about this particular chart at the moment. Um, first, I want to increase it a little bit. So, handy keyboard shortcut for that is Control Shift B and push that a few times, and we can expand the size of the view. Um, secondly, um, you know, there's just no way I'll be able to distinguish, um, you know, look, looking at this color legend, I'm trying to figure out which one's west, which one's central, which one's east, and uh, I'd have to hover over each segment to even get an idea of, you know, which is the larger of, of these three. I, I really don't know. Um, the other thing is, um, I'm getting a sales figure right now, and typically when I think of pie charts, we think of a percentage of the total. Um, so I may want to go ahead and change uh, this this uh, this measure. So instead of getting the outright sales figure, we're going to get a percentage of total instead. So that's a little bit better. Um, going back to my uh, the first thing I said, you know, I really think pie charts are are useful uh, when comparing binary values. So let's test that. I'm, I've created a, a grouping of regions. So instead of having international and then these four other US regions, I've just uh, grouped uh, these other US regions together to create an in international versus USA. So I'm going to replace region with a region group. And immediately, you know, we're getting a better, a better picture here. Uh, we can see that international makes up, you know, just under three quarters of, um, of sales. And US is just over one quarter. Um, already, I'm thinking, okay, you know, that, that, that's acceptable. That's a, that's a chart that's telling me something um, without even any labeling. But you know, let's add some labeling as well. I want to be able to see which region region is which without referring to a color legend. So I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to click on region here, and I'm just going to drag it onto label. And holding down Control duplicates the dimension or the pill. So uh, we don't have to drag it all over again from, from the dimensions uh, list. Um, I probably also want to see the sales figure, so I'm going to do the exact same thing there and drag percentage of total of sales onto the label view as well. And, uh, and there you go. Basically, we've got a pie chart. It's showing two values. It's very clearly labeled. Again, you know, you may consider using a bar chart to present this information, but you know, that's as good as it's going to get for a pie chart. So I um, hope you find that useful. Thanks.